Hey guys, in this mini-series we're going to be creating an application using the Ionic framework. Alright, so Ionic is a JavaScript framework that's used to create uh, hybrid mobile applications. Alright, so we'll be building a to-do list mobile app uh, using I Ionic as well as Cordova, which is also known as PhoneGap. Alright, so there's a few things that you need to do to, to uh, prepare for this project. First thing, you're going to have to have Node.js installed. Just go to nodejs.org, click on the, the download button, and get that set up. All right, that'll also give you NPM, which is what we need to actually install Ionic. All right, you also need to have the Android SDK tools. Now, Ionic can also be used to build iOS apps, but you need to be on a Mac. Um, there's ways around it, but I'm not going to really get into that, so we're going to stick to building an Android app. All right, so you want to go to developer.android.com slash SDK. Go ahead and download it, um, install it. I already actually already have it installed, but really the only thing you want to do is just go through the installate in the Windows installer. All right, and then once you install it, you'll be able to open up uh, Android Studio. Let me just show you real quick. Oops. Now we're not going to be using the Android Studio IDE because that's more geared towards Java and uh, native native apps, and we're going to be working with um, just JavaScript, CSS, HTML. All right. So once you get in, uh, go ahead and click on this little icon up here. This is going to open the settings, and then if you click on Android SDK, you should have one of these installed. We have Android 6.0. Um, and then I would suggest going to the SDK tools tab here and then uh, checking this right here, the uh, Intel emulator accelerator, as well as um, this right here, API simulators. All right. So if you check those and click apply, those will get installed. All right. Because we want to be able to use the emulator. All right. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and close that. All right. So get those things installed. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to open up a Windows command prompt and you want to go to wherever you're going to set up your project. Mine's going to be in a folder called projects. Now you want to install Ionic first, so we'll say npm install and you want to have this G flag here. This is going to make sure that it's global and you can access it from anywhere. All right, so we want to run that. Now, Ionic runs on top of AngularJS, so if you know Angular, that's, that's going to help you a lot. All right, because we deal with things like directives and services and other fundamental parts of Angular. If you don't know Angular, I'd suggest watching one of my videos on AngularJS just to um, you know, get familiar with the fundamentals of it. And what we're going to be using for uh, storage for our data, we're going to be using Firebase, all right, which gives you a free NoSQL database. Uh, and it's really easy to use. It has a really nice and easy API. So we'll build a, a really simple service for Firebase. All right, we'll use something called Angular Fire, which makes it even easier. All right, so now what we're going to want to do is install Cordova, which is also known as PhoneGap, and that will allow us to do a few things. We'll be able to use the Android SDK. Um, if you want to uh, create functionality that actually interacts with the device, with things like its camera, that you can, you can use Cordova plugins for that as well. All right, so we'll say npm install g Cordova at latest. Okay, we want the latest version. All right, so that should be all set. Now let's go into the my to do's. Oh, we didn't create it yet, did we? So to create it, we're going to say Ionic start and then the name, which we'll call my to do's. And you can choose from a couple different boilerplates or starters, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm going to choose blank. OK, we want to start from scratch. That's going to go ahead and create that. And I'm going to open up Sublime Text. 
and just add that folder to the project here. So my to do's. All right, sometimes that takes a minute to actually show the files. I'm not sure why. But um, oh, this here is just asking if you want to create an account at Ionic.io. We don't, so we're going to say no. Okay, now we can go into my to do's. All right, and if we do, um, if we want to look at what we have here, actually, let's look at it through Windows Explorer. Projects, my to do's. All right, so this is the structure of the files and folders. The only folder that we're really going to focus on is the www folder. Um, that's where we're going to have our index file here. We're also going to have our JavaScripts. Right now, we only have app.js, but we're going to create a couple others as we go. Now, to be able to see our application, we can use the serve command. Okay, so we can say ionic serve. And that's going to open up a browser window and bring us to our local host port 8100 by default. And you can see this is what we have. Okay, I'm going to just shrink this down to the size of a mobile app. And if we open up index.html, you can see that we have this H1 here that says ionic blank starter. All right, so I'm just going to change that to my to do's and save. And you'll see that this automatically updates. All right, so that's that's really nice. We don't have to manually refresh it every time. All right, so now that we have this up and running, I think it's a good place to stop. And then in the next video, we'll start to work on our UI um, as well as get Firebase set up and all that good stuff. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.